Since you know the moves, best, best play, play with, with whites, whites. They, they go, go first. first. Such order in the midst of chaos makes me woozy and disoriented. The regularity of the board disguises the predatory menace of certain pieces. Well, well let's... you want to tell me about this game? Maybe that'll feel a little better. Yes, actually, I can tell you all about American McGee's Alice. You don't mind being on live stream, do you? Oh, I don't strange. mind at all. I have just pulled up the stream and I'm watching you move around what almost looks like a chessboard, but you're moving like checkers. It is a chessboard. I'm a bishop, so I'm moving diagonally. Um, oh, that makes sense. Uh, I hate chess, but... <gasps> I hate, I actually just went on this semi kind of, not rant, but I was never very good at it. I like Nevitoffel, uh, the Viking yeah. chess, um, uh, but I, I was never, I don't know. I was First I was never very good at it, and then whenever I saw chess and just considered it, I started seeing yeah. it more as like people because it yeah. was used as a metaphor so many times of like people on the chessboard. So like I'm uh. reading Dune right now and all I can think is that, yeah, like pretty much, you know, the players of the game, they're playing chess with the universe or just a very convoluted game of chess with the universe. I mean, it all kind of makes sense. I'm, I'm certain you're, you're, you're aware that chess was originally developed as a uh, a facsimile for war. Yes, it was and a so, battle strategy game. Exactly. So that seems quite natural, and mm, I guess natural is just the only word I was going to go. Yeah, no, there. natural. Uh, to, <laughs> to see it, <laughs> so to natural. see the pieces as people. Yeah, exactly. Um, they represented like battalions and all of that. Yeah. The thing is too, like when I play Nevitoffel or and like similar strategy games, then I can see it as troops. But for some reason, when I play chess, I see it as like Individuals. the av yeah the average person as opposed to troops. Um, well, I mean, I think it's probably a good way to do it that way. You are bargaining with the average person's life when you that's when true you fight a war. That's very true. It's all good. Um, so American McGee's Alice. So this yes. game came out in the year two thousand. Um, that's about right. And it would not be working on this machine except for a gentleman named Omri who found a Windows 10 fix. Uh, or made a Windows 10 fix. Anyway, he did something. Um, anyway, so the premise behind American McGee's Alice is that when Alice is a little girl, uh, her entire family dies in a house fire. And she is... Um, the grief from the whole event essentially drives her, at the time, you know, just very simple, insane, quote-unquote. Mm -hmm. um, and so when she's 17 or so, they finally reunite her with that, with the stuffed rabbit that she made it out of the house with. Ah, uh, um, I see. And I the rabbit says, save us, Alice. And so Alice is brought to the dark, twisted version of Wonderland that she accidentally created uh, with her sorrow with her sorrow yes and now she has to fix it there is a sequel alice madness returns where yes. um she is basically trying to live her life afterwards and she is seeing someone who's trying to help her forget everything but of course there's nefarious reasonings behind that that you have to unravel i never really it's not that i didn't connect with the second game it's just the first game so i started playing the first game when i was at a really bad place in my life like i was really really sick and dealing yeah. with it um and you know trying to get a, oh that was a white piece i'm so sorry um <laughs> that's my side um but yeah, so on the really, really, really god-awful days, I would play American McGee's Alice. And just kind of, because there was a lot of this game that I kind of connected with in all the wrong, well, I say wrong. 
Um, uh, neurological issues abound, basically. Why can I not interact with... Oh, wrong button, that's why. Um, <laughs> Where is the action button? Basically. Um, and so, of course, getting to the root of that whole neurological problem required a uh, gazillion and five doctor visits and medication things. And anyway, it was a shit show. But I mean, I, here I am. Mental health always is tough. Oh, yeah. Men mental health in general is not. Especially because um, many, most, lots of neurological problems overlap symptomatically with mental health issues. And so trying yeah. to find someone who A, believes you, and B, knows how to tell the difference is a pain in the ass. Yeah. Anyhow. So, during that, like, literally some of the darkest, most difficult times of my life, Alice was there. And I am certainly not the only one. I know there's a lot of people um, who will be on, like, the streams. Because American is still... American McGee is working on, uh, to my great delight, uh, Alice Asylum, the third game. Um, apparently there's an announcement coming soon about future of said game and um, you know when it's coming out and all that sort of thing but there's been no word yet so yeah right now they're working on development true. they can't start programming the game yet because legal but they've been doing Me? like all the fun design work and stuff like that do um, they not own the IP anymore? not technically EA owns the IP technically oh boy yeah yeah yeah, so you kind of, um, so the weapon you kind of pick up as you go. So, number Are they one... representative of parts of the story? Sort of. So in some cases, yes. So, first is the Vorpal Blade. Your knife, right, the very... Right, makes sense. Yeah, the Vorpal Blade, one snickersnack. Uh, the second is the cards. Third is, uh... <laughs> Here's a riddle. When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? I'll tell you. Whatever you want it to be. Uh, the jack-in-the-box bomb, the ice wand. There's also the diabolical dice. I have two out of the three. They open portals and summon demons. Do not throw them when you're alone. Uh, let's get back to the... Do not Save. throw them when you're alone because the demons will fight you. Pretty much. Gotcha. Oh, like D &D yep. to me. And... Summon monster three. Pretty much. Hey, look, the White Queen, oh, off with her head. We're gonna get exactly. Mary Antoinette. This game is rated M for Mature. Wow. Yeah, this was the definition of a Mature Eight. game in ah! uh, 2000. Well, yeah. so I wasn't allowed to play. <laughs> so here's the thing. So my parents told me, I, I had that type of parents. They never restricted my reading. And so, which, yeah. that's another story. The books that's are actually, fine. Oh, yeah, books are fine. Never mind. Huh. I, mean, well, I mean, I also think the books are that, fine. That, that's a different story, but I'll get to that in a second. So, um, my mom was like, I was, I was, they basically got me a copy, and they're like, okay, we'll give it to you when you're 17. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so then when I was six, three months. When I was 16, like, in, uh, like, six, like, a good few months before, like, a good... Counting, see. Like eight months before I turned um, 17, my dad like found the game in the closet, and he thought it was a forgotten Christmas gift. And so he's like, "Yeah, here. I guess we forgot to give this to you. Here." And not, I guess, forgetting conveniently the deal that was made. Oh, come on. Yep. And um. Uh, don't do any damage. Ah, there we go. You gotta run, you gotta run, you're gonna run out of health. Um, and so, I just nev didn't bother to correct him. <laughs> so, however, when it came to books, so my parents, you know, they're like, we'll restrict your movies. Or so, I was that bratty little shit who was like, if there was a movie they wouldn't let me see because it was rated R or whatever, I'd be like, okay, yeah. I'll just read the book. Which is how I ended up reading... 
the exorcist at the ripe Great. old age of 13. And the thing is, is that I don't know if you've read the book, but it is like 10 trillion times more vivid and vicious and violent than the movie could ever hope to be because restrictions and what they're allowed to film. And yep. so when I was old enough to watch the movie by my parents' reckoning, I was bored to tears. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that makes sense. Nope. Can you climb okay. those barrels over the right? You know, I think I can, now that I've set myself on fire. Viewing these as people really puts a lot of implications on things. Oh, that fucker. Hey. Well, there goes your agency. That's the Mad Hatter being a dick. No way. You're telling me that we're playing through the looking glass and you can't go through the looking glass? <laughs> I mostly know the poem Jabberwocky and the rough story, the, the first one through the looking glass. Beyond that, I know there was a lot more writing. Whoops, well. Oh, yeah. Lewis Carroll did a lot of writing. Was Brillig and the Slithy Toves did Gyre and Gimble in the Wave, all Mimsy where the Barrow goes and the Mimsy rounds up grave. Yeah. Where the Jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch, beware the Jip Jip bird and shun the Frumious Bandersnatch. He took his purple sword in hand, long time the Manx and Fogey saw it, so rested he by the Tum Tum tree and stood a while in thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the Jabberwock, with eyes aflame, came whiffling through the tall gee wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through, the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with his head he went galumphing back. Now hast thou slain the jabberwock, and to my arms, my fresh boy, O frab just a come kale, he shortled in his joy. It was brillig, and the slithy toes did gyre and gimble in the wave, all him, see where the borrow goes, and the mum rabs out grave. Did it fall? No, it's out there. I, I think so, but I think the robot just Hang isn't on. our problem anymore. Now it's not loud our problem anymore. <laughs> oh, it fell off! I posted that I was streaming it and someone was like, that was a messed up but great video game, and I'm like, Look, dumb, it's what's the name from the neurotics ward? Nurse's favorite lunatic. Ah, oh, Tweedledee oh, yeah? and Tweedledum. Scrawny, ain't she? Who let her out then? They'll blame us most like. She'll need more medicine. Strong medicine. She got anything to eat? Doubt it. She never finishes a grub at the asylum. If she had any meat on her, she'd make a delectable dish. Despicable, Despicable and smelly, smelly louts. Loud I'll fill fill your, your bellies, bellies all right. right. The bigger the they, they are, the harder they, they fall. fall. Spare me the platitude. Do you, you have, have any useful, useful advice? advice? Use their, their size, size against them. Use their size against them. Wait, there's a third one now? Uh, they split and multiply like annoying little oozes. Oh. <laughs> they heard the call of the jelly? They heard the call of the jelly. Notice me reciting this game from memory. I mean, it, they do put the text on the screen, but believe me when I say a lot of it is from memory. Only one of you fuckers left. Single <laughs> Oh god, he, wow, that's a horrifying injury. Fuck you, Hatter. You stepped on the rabbit. I only take they take mine with friends. friends. He's such a goblin-looking guy now. Accurately, I mean, honestly, that's the truth. Oh, I quite forgot. You and the truth are not on familiar terms. And you would, you know. would know. Truth is always bitter to those who fear it. I fear, I fear nothing. nothing. Halt! You fear much. A return trip to the asylum, for example. The memories that drove you there. More years in, shall we say, supervised hospitalization. Ah, yes. You fear much. Of course, all that might be avoided. Yeah, the one, the one that looks like Venus, but with a uh, like the horns. The on horns. Top. That's Mercury. Yeah, you can get um like the alchemy key necklaces. So American McGee has a shop called Mysterious. Um. Mm -hmm where you can get a lot of the cool stuff there. There's a Chaos Necklace. Um, there's the Alchemy Key Necklaces. Um, I was gonna say, this one was a Patreon exclusive, but I have um, 
think it was Patreon exclusive. So I have the Rutledge Asylum certified inmate. Oh, I'm wearing it backwards. So you have the Rutledge Asylum on the front, and then on the back, the certified uh, Rutledge Asylum patient number 445 certified inmate. I'm number 445. I think it was limited. I forget how many pieces. Oh, there's one of the children. Yeah, being turned into a machine. Oh, that's fun. Oh yeah, real fun. Dormit, wake up! Someone's come to release us! It's just a human. It, it doesn't Probably look like ocean. one of the ones you fought, at least. Mm. Oh, Undo us, nice. please, from this, this contraption. Yep. Or you could give us tea if you'd prefer. Ah, uh, you are next, written. Were you impolite at table? Six comes early today. Oh no, that's not here. Usually she has that line at some point. Probably at the end of the sequence. Hey, I know where that door is. Uh. Oh, did I free them? Oh no, it's even worse now. Sorry, dudes. <laughs> ah, here we go, that's right. Mercury doors. Those two seem to barely comprehend the situation. situation. They're blithering idiots. But the Hatter does come at six on the dot. For his tea? No. To check his cruel experiments. With gears, springs, levers, and mechanical gizzards, he seeks an impossible precision. Like a watchmaker obsessed with infinitesimal fractions of seconds, or a mathematician who tries to square the circle. He'll turn all the inhabitants into his automatons, or kill them in the attempt. That's simply awful. Six, Six o'clock, you, you say? Six precisely, by that clock. Hmm. Perhaps Six comes early today. Uh, this is piece two of the eye staff. The staff lacks only the Jabberwock's eye. The oh, he has two. two. I, I understand he's quite fond of them both. I doubt, I doubt time will change his mind. Speaking, Speaking of which, which where is the hatter? Oh, I forgot to use the correct. I see you up there, asshole. Zigging, keep zagging, keep zigging. Oh, and then there's another meta over there, which I will pick up when I need it. Alright, I'll save my jack in the box. So the... Yeah! Oh, he blew his head off. <laughs> Damn right I did. Fuck. One might say you blew his mind. Womp, womp, womp. Ah. Did you just face plant into that pendulum? This unique watch, unique watch stops, stops time for a time. time. Unlike, Unlike death, death, time moves on. on. Those, Those who stood, stood still, still with time, time move on also. Unless they're dead. Hey, there it is. It's like a little method. Well, there was some. There's also a. There's a snark in the water. Oh, and I just. Or in the lava, and I just dropped a bomb in there. I think watching I still the bomb. See the, yeah, the bomb yeah. is going off in there. <laughs> I don't know that, that I actually successfully killed the snark that was in there, but I think I still see it swimming around. Oh wait, maybe not. Because you can see like a ripple. Yeah, you can the see lot. the ripples. That's how you. Ooh, it worked. Awesome. Fighting fire with fire, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it shouldn't work, but it do. This is Wonderland. He made the podcast out of the ones that I got him to record. That was a little too close for my comfort. <laughs> yeah, I see it now. <gasps> that fucking little snark and his stupid little snark. You s did he? Did he, he literally used his little. You? Yeah, he just frog tongued me. That's it. Oh, shit. I'm I sorry. He, he getting a bomb. He getting a he getting a whole bomb all to himself. He is getting an entire Jack in the Box bomb all to his lonesome. Shit. Oh, there he is. He got away from it. Oh, shit. I see him in there. All right, I gotta run. 
No lame excuses do you contrive, nor tolerate delay. It talks like I'm on a holiday, holiday cat, wandering about, about and having a bit of fun. The oracles are idiots. idiots. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless, Reckless insulting or insulting talk should you never go unchallenged. You, you bizarre, bizarre creature. creature. I was, I beginning, was beginning to, to like you. you. Like me or You're don't. Not. But, believe, but me, believe me, the Jabberwock must, must be eliminated. eliminated. Now, blow, blow open the gates and gates. confront the Queen. I don't have the final, the final piece, piece of the staff. staff. Without, Without it, is I, how, can how can it be, be done? done? I don't know. But you must. The situation is urgent. What good are you, good to, are you me? to me? I'm supposed, I'm supposed to, attack to attack this ferocious, ferocious creature. But, but I'm not even sure this is my fight. fight. It's no one else's, else's Alice. Alice. Only, Only you, you can, can save, save yourself. yourself. Save, save myself? From, from death. death? Is that, is that it? it? Is that, is that why, why I've come, come here? here? I'm not, I'm not afraid, afraid to die. die. Times, Times are welcome. Well death. Not death. death. What then? What then? A fate worse than death. I'm not, I'm not stupid. stupid. Don't, Don't make, me make me think, think you, you are. are. Think, what, think you what you will, will. But, know but know this. You withdrew, you withdrew from, from your world after the fire because, because you could not bear your, your terrible, terrible loss. When you, when you answered, answered Rabbit's call, call you, you began, began to emerge from your tragedy. tragedy. Stay, Stay on this path, path Alice. Save, save yourself, yourself, and you will save Wonderland. You will restore us all. But I've been feeling I am beginning to understand. I broke, I broke this, this world, world and, and only I, I can repair it. it. Go well, well Alice. Alice. The Jabberwock waits. waits. With Griffin as your partner, you have reason to hope for success. He's the strongest among us. I mean, I do like Tomb Raider a lot. Um, yeah. But I also have memories of my childhood self literally sitting in front of the computer walkthrough printed out from tombraiders.net, one of Stella's walkthroughs, in fucking tears as I'm trying to do like this twisty, turny, mega, crazy ass jump with like shitty camera angles. But of course, because I did all of those, I definitely hit quick save up. Like, I oof, like in between there and it didn't register it. Um, because I did so many of those damned time runs in Tomb Raider and had to use walkthroughs and all that shit, as a consequence, timed runs are now my bitch. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So there was, and I distinctly remember, my sister and I were both playing Assassin's Creed 2. And there's this one tomb where... You pull a lever and these poles come out of the wall and they're only they're they're only active for a certain amount of time before they go back into the wall. So you have to get around them, you have to like parkour your way around in the amount of time given. Uh, and oh my gosh, my poor sister, I have never seen her so distressed in my life. She was watching YouTube videos, she was like near tears. And I was way far behind her because she's always been a much better gamer than I am. Um, so I was like trying to catch up. And um, so I finally got to that tomb and I'm like, oh shit, this is the one that is like giving my sister an insane amounts of trouble. Let me see if I can get through it. Three tries. Three her tries. Three tries to do the timed run. And that that was also annoying because that was another one where, depending on where you were, they would change the camera angle, and so you'd have to kind of, uh, in some way, in some cases, adjust like the directionals accordingly, which was a pain in the ass. Because you can't make believe you made that, that lava ball jump. Oh, did you just see that? His head exploded. You did see that now. Quick save. Yep. I don't care that there's two little imps here. There's their chump change. Please. I was gonna say, I'm a lot farther in the game than I remember being. I'm wondering if I could, like, 
knock the rest out. Oh boy. You've kept me waiting. I got all this time. Have you never heard that, that, that punctuality is a virtue? You and my, and dentist, my dentist assistant have much, much in common. common. You're habitually late, aren't you? Between your dim-witted daydreaming and your... This is an intrusive thought personified, so let's kick his ass. Lie by. There's barely time for anything else. That the best like you a can Jabberwocky? do. Pearl's second rate That's the Jabberwock. Your family was expecting you to come to them, weren't they? Perhaps they thought you might warn them of the danger, being close to the source as you were. But they waited in vain, didn't they? And died for their trouble. We were all asleep. It was an accident. Oh, I... boy. You selfish, misbegotten, and unnatural, unnatural child. child. You, you smelled, smelled the smoke, smoke but you were in dreamland taking tea with your friends. friends. You couldn't be bothered. Your room was protected and spared. While your family upstairs roasted in an inferno of incredible horror. Jesus. No! And of course he's got the furnace in his chest. Yep. This is a mental health uh, allegory in a lot of ways. <laughs> he's making us feel bad about a fire our family died in. Let's set him on fire. Let's set him on fire. Yep, pretty much. You want to know what fire feels like, asshole? I can show you what fire feels like. There should be. Maybe it's, it's not down health. in here. No, there's a little area near Humpty. Ah, that's right. Oh, I see a brick. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Uh -oh. A blunder down a and the heck of a blockhead like a is a catastrophe waiting to happen. You You're not a dunderhead, but exercise great care. Yeah, you can only use the, um, you can only, the blunderbuss needs literally your entire weapons bar. And that one, I think the- fire at once. Yeah, but it's like the AoE of AoEs. Gotcha. But that was a good, that was a well-placed, uh, Jack in the box yeah, bomb. Considering how tough these things have been to throw lately. That was definitely. like a uh, thermopoly. Thermopolized them right there. <laughs> yes, I did just use thermopoly as a verb. I... Oh, electrical. Oh, pfft. I do love it when I get like a nice hit with a vorpal blade like that. I take it, Milo on the fridge didn't end up causing trouble. Uh, it might have, but I didn't hear anything crash or break, so... <laughs> provided he didn't eat the craft project I was working on, it's all good. What is this craft project? Ornaments. Crassmas ornaments. Yep. Although if he did eat them, he is in trouble with a capital T. Because they do, in fact, take a great deal of time and effort. Are they made of? Origami. I used the blunderbuss for one thing. Oh, God. I saw him there, and I thought there was more. Okay. I saw you pull out the blunderbuss, and I'm like, eh, she knows better than I do. There's probably more guys. I thought there were. <laughs> oh well. And the person who did the soundtrack for this game is Chris Renna of Nine Inch Nails. Really? Really? That is interesting. Unfortunately, the only Nine Inch Nails that I know is that I think that they're the ones that did a cover of the Sound of Silence that everybody got really wet about. That's Disturbed, and it is a phenomenal cover of Sound of Silence. <laughs> See, I don't even know anything. <laughs> Can't even get the right band. <laughs> so, like, it's similar... Not against covers. Right. Similarly, I... I was raised on Peter, Paul, and Mary, so I'm sorry if your cover of The Early Morning Rain does not have exquisite three-part harmony, then I'm not going to listen to it, and I'm not going to like it. Because 
I'm Spoiled by Peter, Paul, and Mary. This looks promising. That's the way I came in. That doesn't look promising. Is this like Victory Road here? This was the, the last set of things. Cool. Yeah, let's throw a jacket the box in there. Yeah, come up the path, I dare ya. Oh, that works surprisingly well. It looks like they have zero survival instinct. Oh no, they which just works get very here. well in my favor. Ah, bargain, bojangles, bougie, boojim, <laughs> bougie. Yeah, let's fight a bunch of bougie, shall we? I couldn't remember. Viva la resistance! Down with the bougie. Oh yeah, good jacks, good jacks. Very good jacks. Jacks MVP. Jesus. Yeah, right. You just got to that part. <laughs> just explode in a shower of red. You can see why my. There's another word that's interesting from my period of online gaming, because like. It sounds better to say gibbed, but it comes from the word giblets, so it's got to be jibbed, right? Either way, jibbed, gibbed. Although, there's an argument as to how you pronounce whether it's giblets or giblets, so... Is there? Yeah! I didn't know about that argument. I only knew about the gif versus gif argument. It's gif. It's gif. It's gif. It's, it's always going because to be it is not graphics. It's graphics. Therefore, it is GIF. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna run around him and go. And it worked. Waterlogged. I was right. Turtle proved that being, that being a, reptile a reptile has, has advantages. advantages. Whoo! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I deserve that. Sorry, I just watched you fling yourself <laughs> off. <laughs> it's like it's the it's the epitome of, of gaming at this period of yep. time where you're struggling against the controls. Or it's exactly, like, you're the fighting the controls. Cl Why won't the game <laughs> let me do this? <laughs> You're right, it, it's peak gaming of the time. It's like you're fighting the controls and the... Yeah. At the end of the day, if you haven't said not again, like 42, 42 yeah, times. exactly. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, goddammit. Yeah, except I didn't fare nearly as well. Yeah, well, you didn't have a power suit. True. There you go, you got through the broken fan really easily, good. I told you timed runs are my bitch. <laughs> and so I looked at him, I just said, well, my days of not taking you seriously the are certainly coming, coming to a middle. Coming to a middle. <laughs> and I sat there staring at him, like, he laughed. And I stared at him and said, what do I know that from? He's like, oh, I don't know, it's definitely something, it's a movie or a show or something. No, I know, it's Firefly. Take my love, <laughs> take my land, take me where I cannot stand. Uh, you can't take this guy from me. I don't care, I'm still free. You can't, you can't take, take the sky. sky from me. So maybe it's this, right here? Yeah, I thought it was, but... I want to go down in there. Well, I think you might be right. Let's go in here. Yes, you are correct. Hallelujah. I'm so done with snarks. So done with snarks. <laughs> Yay. No, the age of digital gaming, I have fully embraced. Of, I have been uh, raided. Know. That is my first ever raid. Hey. I only ever get raided by before. Welcome, Marshall 2018. Marshall 2018. We're playing Alice. We are indeed. I am getting my ass pretty thoroughly handed to me as well. I think you're doing really well. 
Oh, well, oh, I'm dead. I thought you fell into the water. No, I didn't fall into the water. It was a damn close thing, but... I was like gonna say, I was letting you guys chat while I was concentrating. That's good. You, you, can, you can do the chatting, and I will do the sweating. <laughs> I was seeing all the explosions and fire. You did well, by the way. Good job. Thanks. Uh, idiomatic humor that they use. So I time just to jump to in, time, time to jump, jump through in. time. Dizzy. Jump in, jump through the clock. All the, like, the big three were not ones that I did. Ugh, this part looks really tough. Well, it's also because I have to fight the controls. Yep. 90s gaming! It's like my okay. jump button isn't sensitive enough and my arrow keys are too sensitive and there's nothing I can do to change that. So it looks like the nice thing is that on each one, the center is safe, so you can rest and get your camera and everything coordinated there for the next jump, which is good. I was worried they were going to make the center unsafe, so that you couldn't do that. There we go. There we go. That first one was a bitch, but the rest look okay. Once you said the center was safe, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Boom. Oh, there's the hole in the middle of the ratchet lock. Correct. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. And then... Yeah. All right, all right. I've been outsmarted. Now, we walk back across the ratchet lock. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <sighs> yeah! Yeah. And now we. Oh no. Thank you for staying with me for so long while I play this. Of course. I'm having fun. I'm learning a lot of things. We're having fun chats. That's the first time I've ever used the console in Alice. Like, I knew it existed and I knew there were cheats, but that's literally the first time I've ever used it. I'm actually kind of proud of myself that it took me. 17 years to finally throw in the towel. And I just edged off. Phrasing. I know. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were going to notice. <laughs> I was going to leave it alone. <laughs> so I can see where the hell I'm going. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, you can blunderbuss, grab it, and blunderbuss again. Now I'm gonna meteor up in the air. Oh, Fire so raining I'm from in. heaven! Or, you know, wherever. Yeah. Some eldritch plane, I'm sure. And fire rain from the heavens. Or wherever. Red, red, war is blood. <laughs> or wherever. That, that'll be ours. <laughs> yeah, and fire rain from the heavens. Or wherever. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work that into D&D at some point. We do. There we go. Almost there, almost there. Grab that. Oh, and he went into the lava. Here. It's your turn, bitch. See how it feels. <laughs> like I said, cathartic. And here we are. Gaming with Guitar Bard. She is her own undoing. I am my own undoing. <laughs> it's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. No, no. Mur Murder, Death, Kill was from um, Total Recall? No. Uh, uh, minority Report. No, no. Total uh, Murder, Death, Demolition Kill, which was Demolition Man, yep. Demolition Man. <laughs> got there eventually. We got, yeah, we got there in the end. <laughs> Only a few find, find the way. way. Some, Some don't, don't recognize, recognize it when, when they, they do. do. Some, Some don't, don't ever don't. want to. Ah, that's right. A reflection exposes more reality than the object it echoes. You Jeez. reflect him and its clubs. Well, clubs was the first part of the maze that we went through, so it makes fence. Yeah. Sense. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, I was hoping that we could outsmart it too, but I'm sure it's to prevent people who have played the game 
several, many times in quick succession quickly. for, yeah, yeah. And also to torture them and, you know, add more <sighs> so enemies. So much torture. So much torture. Alright. Pull masochistic. the lever and we'll go to... WRONG LEVER! Why do we, Why do we even have, have that lever? There's, there's two scenes that I can't watch, and this is one of them. I'll watch it for Avery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus, I've lived long. And he'd, uh, you know, he'd served his purpose. Oh, he's coming back if I have anything to say about it. Oh, she's just, Sup, uh, bitch. chilling out here in the final chamber, huh? Who am I? Sleeves oh, are oh, going up. Yes. Staff, yeah. Yeah. Because she's moving. Yep. Oh, I got her with that one. Very nice. I just oh, saw shit. it. I thought she- oh, I thought man, she was I, down. I thought she was down. Yeah. Yep. So did I. I was over here lamenting that you didn't have any, uh, will left to shoot her with, and then she was like, ah, just kidding. Yeah. It ain't over until it's over. I'm still wondering if it, she is going to turn out to be like the lure tail of a big snake. Oh, you got god armor. <laughs> Serious, let's finish her off. We'll get there. Well, that's pretty. Very attractive. I rule Wonderland. Oh god, it got worse. Your interference will not Yep, be I saw that coming. This realm is for grown-ups. Raw, well-ordered, ruthless, careening on the jagged edge of reality. Self-pitying dreamers are not wanted here. They cannot survive here. You fear the truth. You live in shadows. Your pathetic attempts to reclaim your sanity have failed. Retreat to the sterile safety of your self-delusions, or risk inevitable annihilation. If you destroy me, you destroy yourself. Leave now, and some hollow part of you may survive. Stay, and I will break you down. You will lose yourself forever! And ultimately, the biggest challenge we have to face is our own inner demon. So bring it on, bitch. chest vagina opens, but, uh... <laughs> just call it a chest vagina? Maybe. Ah. I've never seen or heard of this game before. What? This is a great first impression. You came in for the final <laughs> boss fight. Oh, God, I just died. Oh, no. You came in just in time for the final boss fight of the entire game. Hey, Burr Pal. Recognize this game? Let's go. Leroy Jenkins. Of course.
course I do. Yeah, Burp Pal remembers me uh, sitting and playing it for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. I see you. I know. <laughs> Somebody seconds behind, I'm sorry. No, I I was just like, oh my god, that was so annoying because I got a really good shot off. Woof! Yeah. I just saw the big push. Yeah. She's like, here, let me help you make that jump. Yeah, right? She's like, your jumping is so bad, let me like help you out with it. Oh, and to sure the point where she pushes me off in the other direction too. Burp Pal says, gotta go power flickering in their place. That's not good. How am I on fire? That's really she odd. Says, good night, good night. Oh, I saw GNGN GN, and I thought it was like a brief, like a different yeah. way of saying gotta go. But I guess good night, good night makes a little more sense. Oh wait, did I just blow her up? Oh yes, it's raining. It's raining meat pieces. It's raining chunks. Hallelujah, it's rain and chunks, baby. It's rain. Ooh, everything I... is grass again. GG easy. <laughs> I cannot in good conscience say that I actually won it on hard mode, though, because I used a cheat to get through the Jabberwock. Because that was just brutal. Jabberwock was a bitch. The Jabberwock was a bitch. It required too much technical for the amount of patience we had to grab it. But will there be the cat? The Cheshire cat. Yes, oh, there yep, he there is. Will. But he's still looking pretty dark. Oh, you missed the part where I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> they saw nothing. You didn't cheat as far as they know. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a game near and dear to my heart. One American McGee's Alice. And we got to the end. That, that was the first time I'd ever cheated in that game. Ever. Like, ever used the console. Um... I mean, I can only say so many times that that Jabberwock was that way That Jabberwock too was a hard. bitch. Real quick, let me grab and show you the gift I got myself. It's Alice themed, oh. so I'm grabbing it. I mean, it clearly says from Santa Claus. Oh, nice. It's even got the Cheshire Cat and the yeah. Marple Blade. Still in the box from 2001. Oh, or and 2000, it was. 2000. Yeah. Character 2000. Oh, I don't think it's mint. The box is a little banged, and it looks like it may have been opened previously, but everything... Oh, no. Everything's still... You can still see the little twisties on the action figures. But, yeah, I've been looking for this forever. But, no, I've been wanting one of these. And the thing is, too, American yeah. McGee has been able to make, like, the rabbit right. and the cat, case in point, He's not allowed to make an Alice doll, though, because uh, EA still has the licensing. But, yes, this was my gift to myself. Yeah, never remove from box. Yeah. Never remove from box! A challenge has been set forth. Yes. Bring out the turples. Finally got to welcome Alice home. Can't believe that it. was fun. Thank you for taking me through that. You're welcome. Thank you for joining me on that. Oh, um, it was a pleasure. So to everyone else in the stream, thank you for joining us on this little jaunt into the dark wonderland. Um, I might do Madness Returns at some point, but yeah, no, this this game is near and dear to my heart. And when I'm having 
bad days, sad days, you know, this is my, my base camp. You know, I can, I know I can always trust Alice.